Hi scientists, I'm Mariela from the California Science Center, here to remind you that science doesn't happen in black and white. Scientists and engineers use their drawings to show what they know. So in today's video, we're going to be drawing a picture together. This is what you'll need. A piece of paper, pencil, and any black marker. I'll give you a moment to get what you need. Here are some quick tips before getting started. Okay scientists, there are two ways you can do this video. Your first option is to do it on your own. If you're feeling pretty confident with your drawing skills, you can watch this video and draw and make your own coloring page. The other option is to ask help from an adult. Anyone who's hanging out at home can help. As you watch the video together, see how the drawing unfolds and you get to color at the end. Our drawings will be on our website every Friday. A great way to keep your drawings organized like a scientist or engineer is to start your own science notebook. This is a great place to keep all your drawings, new ideas from what you're learning, and questions you might have. I'll be using a pen, but for new scientists, you should probably start with a pencil just in case you make a mistake. The play button will be here as I draw and talk. Of course, there'll be times to pause and I will switch it here so that you can hit pause on your screen. Ready to start. Okay scientists, this week's theme has been biology whiz and you've been learning about living things and how they thrive. So today, I thought we would draw a picture of a baby chameleon who is learning all the amazing things it can do. I'm starting off by drawing its eye. Speaking of eyes, chameleons can move one eye in one direction and the other eye in a totally different direction. This allows them to capture the entire environment around them without having to move their head. This is perfect because baby chameleon is going to be learning a lot today. Next, I'm going to be using dots to help guide me making my chameleon. Once I draw my line, I'm making a thicker line to cover the dots that I drew. Okay, now we're going to draw the crest on the chameleon's head. We're going to be using the same dot technique throughout. Chameleons have a crest on their head. This can look different in males and females. Usually, the males have the taller crest. I'm going to use the bottom of the eye to help line where I want the crest to end. I'm going to bring my attention down here. One amazing adaptation chameleons have is their hands. Their hands and feet have large toes that help them climb on branches. Next, I'm going to draw Baby Chameleon's body and tail. I will use the dots to guide my path and make sure to make the line thick as I make his body. Chameleons have a prehensile tail that helps them wrap around tree branches. Baby Chameleon is learning to make sure to hang on tight as it explores the environment around it. I'm going to finish its body, making sure to use the line I already made to guide the way. Let's make sure baby chameleon isn't floating in space. Chameleons are usually found in varied mountain and tropical rainforests. They are usually found in trees and bushes. They use these to protect themselves from predators that might be around. Now let's finish off drawing the bottom of this tree. Baby Chameleon 
isn't alone. I'm gonna start by drawing off Mama Chameleon's eye. Again, I'm going to use the same dot technique I used to draw Baby Chameleon to draw Mama Chameleon. Mama Chameleon actually is going to have her mouth open. I'm using Baby Chameleon's features to help me draw Mama Chameleon. Since they are related to each other, I know that traits from one generation are passed down to another. Mama Chameleon passed down her features to Baby, and that's why they look so much alike. Mama Chameleon also has her amazing tail. But since Baby Chameleon's in our foreground, when we draw her tail, we have to imagine it behind Baby. Drawing these dots helps us to see what we can't see. Now we're going to draw the rest of Mama Chameleon. It seems like she has her eye on something. Let's make sure Mama Chameleon isn't left hanging in outer space either. She needs a branch to hang on to. Oh yeah, I see. She's reaching out for something tasty. Here, Mama Chameleon is showing Baby that they need food to get energy. They need to eat. And later, their bodies will release waste. Ooh, yummy! A delicious, tasty... Insect. Mama and Baby Chameleon are made perfectly to fit into this environment. Before we finish, let's add our title. Baby Chameleon's Day Out. Another amazing thing that chameleons do is change color. Chameleons change color to reflect their mood, temperature, and environment. What color will your chameleon family be reflecting? Don't forget to add color because science doesn't happen in black and white. It was fun drawing with you scientists today. Hope you're feeling a little less stuck at home. See you next time. Be sure to visit our website Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. for more stuck-at-home science activities.